Hello everyone, I am Miguel Piña, a PhD student at National Autonomous University of Mexico. In this talk, I will present a new work still in algorithm based on relaxation called multiplicity. The title of the talk is Fully Read Write Fence Free Work Stealing with Multiplicity. This is a joint work with Armando Castañeda. This talk is organized as follows. In the first section of the talk, I will give an introduction of the work stealing technique to balance irregular workloads. Then, I will explain what is the problem that we are studying. In a few words, we will talk about the expensive use of read modify write operations and read after write patterns in work stealing implementations. Afterwards, I will explain algorithms for work stealing and then discuss the results of our experiments. I will finish the talk with conclusions. So, what is work stealing? Work stealing is a popular technique to implement load balancing for efficient task parallelization of irregular workloads. We will refer to work stealing in the context of the standard asynchronous shared mo memory model. Some of the applications for work stealing are programming language, parallel programming framework for SAT solvers, and garbage collectors. How it's worth the work stealing? There are three main components. The first one is the tax producer, which is responsible for providing or generating the tax that will be processed. The second component are the workers. They are responsible for managing the tax provided by the tax producer and process them. The tasks that a worker is pending to process are stored in the set. That is, each worker has a task set where it can save the tasks to process it later. Usually, this task set is a data structure that provides operation to add and remove tasks or even are objects with extended operation like still in the context of the work stealing. Doozy objects provide three operations, put, take, and steal. The owner of the task set can invoke put and take, and the others can only invoke steal. When we refer to the set, implicitly, we refer to DC objects. With DC components, we can reproduce a typical execution of work stealing. The execution begins with the, ta the tax producer generating or producing tax to be processed. In some cases, the tax producer can assign the tax to the workers. In the figure, the worker first takes the task until there are no more. When a worker cannot process some task, they move the tax into the set. To do this, the worker calls the put method, which allows the worker to save the tax into the object. All workers behave in a similar way. When a worker is free to process new tasks, it takes a task from its set with the take method of the object. With just a little reminder, all workers operate asynchronously. When the set of a worker is empty, the worker steals a task from the set of another worker. To do so, the worker invokes the steal method of the, obje of the object of another worker. The problem is that, to do this, it is necessary to use heavy synchronization mechanisms to avoid that the same task is taken two times. Usually, the synchronization is performed using read after write patterns or read modified write instructions. In the case of read after write patterns, those are, based, those are based on flag principle and use memory fences to avoid reorder reads and writes by the processor or compiler, which are highly costly. For the read modify write instructions, which have high coordination power, are in principle slower than simple reads and writes. This is a problem. A natural question is, how can we take or steal tasks without using expensive synchronization? The previous question can be reformulated as, what can we do to circumvent expensive synchronization? Atiyah and others have shown that expensive synchronization in work stealing algorithms cannot be eliminated. 
the synchronization mechanisms are read after write patterns on read modified write instructions. However, it is possible to circumvent this impossible result by making extra assumptions about the model or relaxing the semantics of work stealing. We follow the second option. Therefore, we consider the question, can we find meaningful relaxation of work stealing that can be implement, implemented without expense synchronization? In the related work, there are two related works that address the problem. The first one is by Michael, Beshet, and Saraswat. They propose idempotent work stealing, a relaxation in which a task can be extracted at least one instead of exactly once. They present three algorithms that extract tasks in FIFO, LIFO, and DQ orders. In the three algorithms, the take method uses expensive synchronization. The second work is by Morrison and Affect. They implement two classic work stealing algorithms in the TCO model. In both algorithms, they can still use logs or read modified write instructions. Now, I will talk about our proposal. But first, I will introduce two main concepts used in our work. The first one is the max register object, and the second one is the concept of multiplicity. What is a MAC register object? This object provides two operations. MAC, re MAC read that returns the maximum value written so far in the object, and MAC write that writes a new value only if it is greater than the largest value in the object. There are read and write algorithms for MAC register with logarithmic step complexity. The second concept is multiplicity which is a relaxation of work stealing in which every task is extracted at least once, and if it's extracted by several operations, they must be concurrent. The concurrency requirement makes work stealing with, with, with multiplicity stronger than idempotent work stealing. So, what are our contributions? We have four main contributions. The first one is an algorithm for work stealing with multiplicity based on the max register object. All the tasks are processed in FIFO order. Its properties are that build operation is fence free, all operations are weight free, and take and steal operation avoid read after write synchronization patterns, and have logarithmic complexity. The second contribution is the definition of the weak multiplicity. In this variant, take and steal operation extracting the same task may not be concurrent. However, each process extracts, extracts a task and most once. The third contribution is an algorithm for work stealing with quick multiplicity, inspired in our first solution. The properties are the algorithm uses only read and write instructions. It is fully fence-free, and all its operations are weight-free and have constant step complexity. The last contribution is an experimental evaluation. The result of the evaluation is that our algorithms are competitive and slightly better than algorithms in the literature. Let's start with the first algorithm. We call it work stealing with multiplicity from max register. We will focus on the interaction between the one worker and the worker the work stealing object, namely each set with tasks. The algorithm stores and extracts the task in the set in FIFO order. We use a MAC register object as a head index, an array of atomic read write objects with the first two objects initialized to bottom and a local variable as a tail. All processes can manipulate the head, but only the owner of the set manipulates the tail. For simplicity, we use an infinity array. As mentioned before, the workers interact with the object using three methods, put, take, and steal. In the case of the put method, the owner of the set store the task in the array and increases the tail by one. The bottom value is written two, two places ahead. 
We repeat DC steps in each put operation. For example, here the owner inserts three tags in the object. You observe how the tile variable increases. Now, when the, when the owner wants to process some task, it calls the take method, where it reads the value in the head using the max read operation. If the max value is less than the tail, it reads whatever is in the array whose index is the max value, and then increases this value by one in the head, using the max write operation. The owner returns the value it reads from the array. If the head is not less than the tail, it returns empty. In the still method, the behavior of the thief is similar to the owner intake, reading the value and increasing the head max register value. An important observation is that the max register always stores the max value and therefore it acts as a sorted fence, allowing a task to be taken by two operations only if they are concurrent. However, the step complexity of max registers is logarithmic, so the step complexity of this algorithm is logarithmic too. In some cases, a logarithmic step complexity might be too much. Ideally, we would, we would like to have constant step complexity in all operations if possible, and use simple synchronization mechanisms. In the next algorithm, we propose work stealing with weak multiplicity. Intuitively, weak multiplicity requires that every task is extracted at least once, but now every process extracts a task at most once. Hence, take and steal think and still operator to net same tags might not be concurrent. Therefore, the relaxation retains the property that the number of operations that can extract the same task is at most the number of processes in the system. To, to solve work stealing with weak multiplicity and if in an efficient manner, we introduce the range mark register object and an implementation of it. In the range match register, the read operation returns a value that might not be the maximum written so far. The algorithm has a step complexity in all its operations. Each process has a local variable to register its match value and a shaded variable to register the maximum among the processes. We can set at the left the algorithm with weak multiplicity. The algorithm is the previous one where the max register object is replaced with the code of the range max register implementation. Additionally, our algorithms can be modified easily to bound the multiplicity. Adding a read modify gray instruction to the still method, each, take, each task can be extracted at most once by a take and most once by a steal. Now, it's time for the experiments and results. We compare the algorithm for work stealing with weak multiplicity and a bounded version against CLD and ChaseLab, that are two well known algorithms for work stealing. And it then put the work stealing algorithms in its three versions FIFO, LIFO, and DQ. All algorithms were implemented in Java and we used two machines to test our experiments. The first one, a mainstream computer with an Intel i7 processor with four cores and eight threads, 16 gigabytes of RAM, dedicated only to the experiments. The second, a machine with four Intel Xeon processors and three terabytes of RAM. Each Intel Xeon processor has 18 cores and 36 threads, so the machine has in total 72 cores and 144 threads. This machine was shared with other users, where the process executions are closest to a usual situation. Namely, resource, CPU, and memory are shared by all users. To analyze the performance of the algorithms, we divide the analysis into two benchmarks, zero cost experiments and irregular graph applications. DC benchmarks had been used, used in previous papers. As well, we implement many versions of our algorithms, where distinct data structures were used to manage the set of tasks. For example, arrays with auto-resize, linked lists of arrays, 
large arrays, and etc. Also, we tested version of our algorithms with bounded multiplicity. Now, coming back to the explanation of the benchmarks, in the case of zero cause experiments, we want to measure the time required to perform a sequence of puts followed by takes, where the tasks have not cost associated. Similarly, we want to measure the time required to perform a sequence of puts followed by steals. The idea is to show that the presence of heavy synchronization mechanisms in an algorithm slows down the computation even in sequential executions. For the case of the irregular graph application, we consider the spanning tree problem to evaluate the performance of each algorithm. This problem is used to measure the speed up of the computation by the parallel exploration of the input graph. We tested the algorithms over many types of graphs. All graphs are represented using the adjacency list representation. The experiment consists in running the spanning tree algorithm using one of the work steering algorithms. In each execution, we test the performance obtained by increasing the number of threads from one to the total supported by each processor and register the duration of each execution. We now discuss the result of the experiments. Let's begin with the result of zero cost experiments. For the case of puts and takes, we observe that the weak multiplicity version that is highlighted in the figure exhibit a similar performance than the other algorithms, particularly is slightly better than idempotent LIFO, that is the best of the three idempotent algorithms. We tested one version of our weak multiplicity algorithm with a node space to store all tasks, so it has a better performance, but it doesn't make any resize in its execution. For the version with bounded multiplicity, we observe that its performance is the worst, but in the next benchmark, we will see that it exhibits a competitive performance. Similarly, for the experiments for puts and takes, we have similar results for, for puts and steals, where the weak multiplicity algorithm is better than the other algorithms and the array version has the best performance. In the case of experiments of irregular graph application, we observe that weak multiplicity algorithm has a better performance than other algorithms, and in particular, it performed better than idempotent FIFO, which was the better of the three idempotent algorithms in this experiment, in virtually all cases. The algorithm for bounded multiplicity has a lower performance than weak multiplicity algorithm, but still competitive respect to the idempotent algorithms. We omit the results of SILDE because its performance was similar to ChaseLab algorithm in zero cost in zero cost and irregular graph application experiments. Similarly, we omit the results for idempotent DQ since in general it had the worst performance among the idempotent algorithms. To finish this presentation, we talk about our conclusions and the work to future. Our main results are two algorithms for work dealing with multiplicity and weak multiplicity. The first one is based on a max register object and a voice read after rise synchronization patterns, while the second one is based on a range max register object and is fully fence free with, with constant step complexity. Also, the experiment showed that performance of the second algorithm is competitive and sometimes better than many algorithms in literature. All the results together show that the simplest synchronization mechanisms are sufficient to solve non-trivial coordination problems. For our future work, we want to use the knowledge acquired to explore other orders than FIFO for work stealing and mul with multiplicity and with multiplicity. With this, I finish these presentations. Thanks for your attention.